All right, it's almost 8 a.m. We are here at Box Springs Trailhead. So stoked to be back. We're heading in for a one day West Cherry today. Levels should be a perfect flow. Got a good crew. Pretty fired up because only myself and Tilo have been in there before. Everyone else hasn't been in there, so I'm excited to blow their mind because I absolutely love West Cherry. Especially starting it off with Grayson, it's like one of the best days of kayaking. We got in late last night around 12.30, woke up at 4.30 to do the drive up to the put-in. Yeah, unfortunately the brakes on my car, I think all that abuse between the windy roads as well as pulling the trailer, unfortunately my brakes went super bad. So I brought it into Gardnerville to get it fixed and they couldn't get it fixed till Tuesday. There was no rental car option in Gardnerville, so we ended up looking for an Enterprise. Enterprise was closed, so there was zero option in Gardnerville. So we drove all the way to South Lake Tahoe, rented a U-Haul truck, made it back, dropped the truck off in Gardnerville, went back to Markleyville where the RV was, packed up everything there, and then drove the three and a half hours down to Cherry Lake. So yesterday, what was supposed to be a very chill day after my fantasy flash, the straight through run, yesterday was supposed to be a nice relaxing day at home, and instead it turned on into an absolutely chaotic day dealing with the truck. Got here super late, woke up nice and early, just made it to the put-in. Should take about four hours to get to the top of Graceland, then nothing but joy all the way down to the lake. So stoked to be dropping back in there. Just so stoked to finally get to show these guys this run. Gonna be a sick day. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. So nice. It's the best part about California. We get all the beautiful hikes, and then at the end of the hikes, there's epic kayaking. Love it. Here we go, about to see Graceland. Find out what the level is. Oh yeah. So it's so nice getting near this ridge. One, because it's a sick view, but also like, okay. I see the slide, we've made it to the right drainage, we're at the right river. Now we've got to scramble down and then scramble up to Grayson. Straight out of Norway. <laughs> oh, come on. Straight out of the US. <laughs> All right, time to head in. So the fun part about this part about getting into West Cherry, it's kind of, if you don't know where you're going, it's kind of like choose your own adventure to get in. You can either do a nice little spot over there, slide the boat down, or you can pretty much do a rappel like Huey's doing. <laughs> made it to the bottom, made it to the river, went for a quick swim, now it's time to finish it off. Head to the top of Graceland. Let's go. Almost done. Four hours on the dot again. Now, so much good kayaking. And the best part is you get to start with racing. Stoked. Here everybody comes. See the last of the crew coming up and over the last kind of weird portage part. I'll walk them through the line and then we'll all start sending it. Stoked.
that was hilarious. I think I overcompensated that poop a little bit. That was hilarious. What's crazy is that rock used to be upstream just below this last kicker. I can't imagine how high this got to be able to move that rock because it's been in that place for as long as I've seen footage. Yeah! I love that slide so much. Lap number like 15, 16 for me. So sick. It's about almost 2 p.m. Time to start boosting. We got a lot of white water to go. and then get a quick look at the one with the tree, just to be safe. Connect onto a mushroom, onto a slide. It's shallow and good. slide down the rock, and then boof down the middle. Line. It's a little eddy on the left, driving behind that little rock, left to right. We're gonna go onto a slide, and then the second one is middle right off of the flow onto the slide. And just feel it out. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> That's a sick sequence. I love that one. and go middle. I never thought it looked very fun. Yeah. Just plug and hopefully don't go into a pothole. Cause you're gonna be like going like this, like looking for the wave. Yeah. So make sure you bring your bow back right a little bit. What I love about doing West Cherry is everything from here to the lake after the confluence because you have so much more flow. It's all sick.
blows. At these blows, you can run the entrance rapid, but then those guys who wanted the portage or scout wouldn't be able to. That's how they portage it today. It's also a very fun seal launch there. And then I love to dip by these big holes. The West Cherry flows after the confluence are just so fun. Having both rivers at higher water is so good. Yep! Yep, boy! <laughs> oh, he's going! Not the one day West Sherry. Hey. Woo! Yeah, you had a six. I was tip. flying and I was just. <laughs> you got. You got. Good to pilot, you did. Hope that was a great first day in California. Dude, that was sick. That was that was such a cool rapid. Yeah. Love that. That was a good day. 
That's work, boys. Great to paddle with you. Okay. Welcome back to Cali. Great day, dude. Great to crush it. Thanks for well, that you. was another epic one day West Cherry. There's just so much white water, and there's yeah, there's some portages, but you're rewarded with so much good white water. Some cool drops, some slides. I mean, in the end, you start the whole thing off with Graceland, which is like one of the most epic slides out there. Yeah, stoked to take all these guys down. It's definitely interesting when you have a group of nine people. I had fun leading everyone down. I like the the eddies got a little small when trying to get baited, but besides that, it was a great day. Everyone crushed it. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'm definitely pretty beat. We uh, then a little over 11 hours from when we started the hike. Such an epic day. So much stuff. I've always enjoyed West Jerry's one day. It's a lot of work, but it is so much fun. Now, we have the hour paddle out, and unfortunately, we are not spending the night here, which means that as soon as we get across the lake, once we get across the lake, we'll hop in the car and drive the three and a half, four hours back to Markleyville, where the RV is at, because Brent and Caleb have early morning meetings tomorrow. I don't, and I'm sleeping in. <laughs> no, that was great. That was such an epic lap. Stoked to get back into the cherries. I'm stoked these guys got to experience one of the cherries, and yeah. Lots more to come, I'm sure. Stoke. Let's go.